all up, Ryan Holland's professional basketball career spent 11 seasons from between 2006 and 2017, 10 of which were spent in the NBA. Big Ryan Holland's free, and Ryan Holland's great finish. Still, it's understandable if basketball fans only vaguely remember him, if they remember him at all, given that he was only ever a role player with limited minutes, whose contributions to his various teams were minimal. Hollins goes up, tries to finish with two hands. It's right there for the finish. He just can't do it. Hollins joined the NBA when he was selected with the 50th pick of the 2006 draft by the Charlotte Bobcats, for which he made history by becoming the 100th basketball player from UCLA to be drafted into the NBA after he represented the Bruins from between 2002 and 2006. After being traded to the Mavs in January 2009, Hollins became a journeyman, playing for seven more teams during his NBA career. No looker inside, Bosch with patience. Bosch oh. by Ryan Hollins! Arguably, his best year was during the 09-10 season with the Wolves, when he averaged around six points and three rebounds a contest. Hollins climbs the stairs to heaven! But it's his last year in the NBA during the 15-16 season with the Grizzlies that is perhaps his most notable as his time with the team was temperamental, even for a journeyman. Holland's relationship with Memphis first started during the 2015 offseason when he joined the Grizzlies preseason camp in September that year. He performed decently, but they ended up waiving him in late October. Still, despite cutting him, they made a note that he might be useful later on. Holland signed with the Wizards in November, but was cut a month later after appearing in just five games. At around the same time that Hollins was waived by Washington, the Grizzlies were ravaged by injury. So Memphis looked to Hollins for help, and ultimately they ended up signing him three separate occasions. First, in late December 2015, before waiving him on the 7th of January 2016. Then they re-signed him on the 21st of January, which led to two 10-day contracts before Collins became a free agent in February. Finally, the Grizzlies signed Hollins one last time in early March for the rest of the season. Later that same month, Holland's teammate Tony Allen appeared on The Chris Vernon Show and explained how Holland's and his relationship with the Grizzlies led to an unflattering nickname. What's your reaction to, to getting the call back? Yeah, it's, it's honestly a true blessing. You know, it doesn't feel like that that long ago. It feels like just coming home, you know. For his part, Holland's has repeatedly insisted that he was never actually called the nickname, at least not to his face. Hollins was especially vocal about distancing himself from the nickname in July 2019 during his time as a commentator on ESPN when his co-host confronted him about it after noticing the nickname on the website Basketball Reference. Fake news all played in the league 10 years, UCLA for four, that ain't never been my nickname. Basketball about Reference, you. fake news. <laughs> fake it's news. Too good. Thanks, Tony Allen. Feels like just coming home, you know. Mm -hmm.